Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Disneyland. It is the holiday season and I cannot wait to experience all of the Christmas festivities that they have to offer. I'm gonna be able to see the Disneyland Christmas Parade and fireworks show. We have a special dining package and also ride a lot of rides and eat some food and just have a joyful Disneyland kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to actually enjoy the holidays at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. And I've never been to Disneyland during the holidays, so this is all brand new to me and I'm just so excited and giddy and I can't wait to try all of the holiday food and share my day with you guys. In Walt Disney World, you have to pay to go to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party to get the whole holiday experience. But here in Disneyland, everything is included for regular day guests. There's no separate ticketed event. They have the Christmas parade and fireworks. All of the characters are dressed up in their festive best. And I'm going to try to do it all and show you guys all of it because I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so blessed to be here. Look at how awesome this is. You have the Christmas tree right there, and then Mickey is meeting guests and taking photos with them right here with his little Santa hat on. I love that so much. Just right here, as soon as you walk in the park. It always amazes me how the Disneyland characters just walk around freely in the park interacting with guests. I think that is just so amazing. Oh my lord. Corella DeVille is actually here. Corella, do you like my dog? It's a Dalmatian. You found Bongo! Jackie, yep. <laughs> we found Bongo, everyone! Make way for What? This is... She got to see Gracie Girl! Look at that! I always get excited to show off Gracie to anybody, including Corella DeVille, and I thought it was cool how she was taking the fire truck down Main Street, so I think we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take some holiday themed Main Street transportation for our first stroll down Main Street USA during the Christmas season. Happy holidays! There are three Main Street like transportations vehicles on the street at one time right now crossing each other. I've never seen this. This is awesome. Look at this. That was so awesome. And fun fact, that was the oldest Main Street transportation vehicle. It got here in 1956. I love that. And there she is, Sleeping Beauty Castle, all decked out for the holidays. How cute is it the horse has little jingle bells on it? That's the best. I can't wait to see it all lit up for the holidays. Well, I can't wait to see it all lit up for Christmas at night. And isn't she just a butte, Clark? I plan on being here all day. Park open to park close. And I bought the Genie Plus. It was $20 for today. Only because I want to make the most out of it. So I made a lightning lane for Matterhorn first. Because I didn't get to ride it last time I was here. It was closed for refurbishment. And that's just in about 20 minutes. I figured we'd go get some breakfast now. And then go ride Matterhorn. My go-to spot for breakfast is always the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe and I can't wait to see what festive things they have. They always have a different menu whenever I come and I try to try something different each time. I just placed my order at the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe and I got a bunch of different stuff because I was just like, oh, I want to try this, I want to try this, I want to try that. I plan on eating a lot of food today. And then also, I'm here actually in town with Roosevelt's because we're going to the Los Angeles Comic Con and I got to do the Haunted Mansion holiday overlay because I'm wearing my Nightmare Before Christmas Roosevelt shirt and I think it's going to be awesome to take some photos with it. And I 
love it. This is one of my all-time favorite shirts. If you guys want to check it out, there's a link in the description, and you can use a promo code uh, PMM20 to save 20% off. All right, here is what I got for breakfast, and it's not really a good breakfast, but it's all the things that I actually wanted to try. I got the turkey pot pie soup, which looks so good. Look at this. I cannot wait to dive into this. Comes with a little breadstick, and then I got a Santa hat macaron, and this one looks really good too. It's got some uh, filling in there. Oh, look at that. That looks so good, and then a little Mickey gingerbread. This one's adorable though. I mean, how could I pass that up? I also got a chimney sweep cold brew. It's a cold brew coffee with hickory smoked syrup, uh, caramel, and then a couple of other things in there. It just looked good, so I decided to get it. And I'm kind of excited to try it, so I think I'm gonna sip on this first. You gotta have the coffee. I like it. It's actually really good. I don't taste a lot of hickory smoke in there, but I do taste some chocolate and caramel. And it also comes with the smoked salt sugar like uh, sprinkle in there, but I don't see any of that. Maybe they didn't add the sprinkles to it. But now I want to dive into this turkey pot pie soup. Look at this. Oh, this might be so good. I love all the Disneyland soups. A little soup for breakfast. Don't mind if I do. That's good, wow. This soup is so good and it's so hot. You can see just the steam just coming right off of it. And I love it. And I love the little, like it's like a little pastry that they put on top there. That was so delicious. Now I wanna take a bite into the macaron here. Little Santa macaron. Look at this little guy. Ooh, I almost dropped it. You almost made me drop my croissant. Good. Good. Oh, I don't even know, usually I go ears first. Should I go? hat first it's all a hat I don't know here you go that is good and you can taste the white peppermint cream filling and the rich chocolate ganache and the almond very good I'm glad I got that one now it's time to try our little Mickey gingerbread man and look at there's actually icing on the back too and I lost his little ribbon it kind of just fell off I don't think it was attached but I'm excited it's kind of soft and ears first Merry Christmas that's good wow that is a good gingerbread cookie I like it it's funny you went ears first and then I kind of maybe take a leg <laughs> maybe a hand but wow very very good enough of the cookie business it's time to make our way to the Matterhorn and look at Captain Hook just strolling around here oh and the Mad Hatter up there Everyone's surrounding Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and Captain Hook is just walking around. Look at that. I'm so excited to be riding the Matterhorn. I haven't rode it in such a long time because it was closed for refurbishment, but it's back. Here it comes. Here's my bobsled for today. Front row, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. great I love that ride so much now I think we're gonna start making our way around the park check out some of the Christmas festivities and I also got a lightning lane for the holiday uh, mansion but that's not for uh, like, I think about an hour one of the things I definitely want to do on this trip is try the seasonal beignets I think they have ones for Christmas time and that would be awesome oh look at the Mark Twain too it's so beautiful here I love Disneyland so much 
it's no secret I love the food here at Disneyland so like it's so challenging for me not to just like want to eat constantly you know what I mean like we just had a nice little big breakfast and I'm already thinking about beignets and I already have lunch plans and then I want snack time you know what I mean so it's really difficult but beignets they're a must but maybe not right now <laughs> oh boy look at this this is my favorite holiday overlay right here it is just simply the best and I like how it has a countdown to Christmas and the countdown is like zero because it's Christmas <laughs> oh so cool I'm so happy I get to ride this actually before the holiday season before Christmas this is definitely my favorite holiday overlay like even better than the holiday overlay on Space Mountain and Walt Disney World I just love it so much this year he's decided to play Sandy Claus but when Halloween creates Christmas you might see a few flaws Finkelstein? Don't pull oh. <laughs> down with ease. Haunted Mansion holiday just makes me so happy. If that was in Walt Disney World, I probably would never stop riding it. It is just so good. And since we're still over here, I think I'm gonna go back for those beignets now. I can't resist them. And here they are. I have obtained the goods. I got myself the maple beignets. These are the seasonal beignets, and they come with a maple bacon butter. Look at this. You can actually see the bacon bits inside there. And I got a hibiscus mint julep too. That looks very festive. And I am so excited. Look at those little precious beauties. Gotta shake it up a little bit though. Gotta get all that powdered sugar on there. Gotta shake it up, shake it up. I love the mint juleps here in Disneyland. I get them every time I come. And now I'm excited to try these beignets. This is a sad looking Mickey though. I feel bad, maybe I tossed this one around a little bit too hard there. Oh, I grabbed this one. All right, this one looks a lot better. Very airy, and uh, we're gonna dive in. This is the maple, maple version. That's good. I mean, I'm not the biggest maple fan, but it still is a, it's a good beignet. Let's try dipping it in the maple bacon butter. There you go. We'll see if this makes it any better, but I'm definitely intrigued with the bits of bacon in there. Oh yeah, that makes it better. <laughs> now it's time to get to this little hibiscus uh, mint julep, and it looks so cool, it looks so festive. And I normally just get the regular one because that's my go-to, but I'm gonna mix it up, try something different, you know? I also applaud myself I'm not getting powdered sugar all over myself. I did a good job. So here we go, hibiscus mint julep. That is great. I like that a lot. Holy moly. I might like this better than the regular one too. Mmm. Enough of the beignet business. Now it's time to move along, but I do have to say the maple bacon beignets are good, but I think I prefer the regular ones better. You know, the maple bacon butter is kind of what makes it, but uh, I probably would just stick to the traditional. We're gonna continue on our way, and since 
Indiana Jones is in this direction, I think we should go for a ride. This is one of my all-time favorite rides, and I love it, and it's not too long of a wait time right now. It says 35 minutes, and I wasn't able to get a lightning lane, not for like another hour or two, but look at how cool this is. Uh, we're doing it, we're going for it. Oh boy, here it comes. And don't worry, I'm driving. <laughs> yep, I'm the driver. <laughs> oh boy. We're ready. Might get, might get a little rocky out there, gonna take this off. I'm bald. I'm ready. <laughs> oh boy. You see the future. I will lift the curtain of time. It is your destiny. Indiana Jones never disappoints. And now it's almost time for us to go to lunch, going over to the Plaza Inn for our uh, dining package. And I'm excited. I really don't know what to expect from it, but you know, it's gonna be cool because we're gonna get a special viewing area for the parade later on tonight. And here it is, the Plaza Inn. It's time for our lunch, and I'm so excited. I've never done a dining package here before, and I think it is like a completely different menu. Not like the chicken and the pot roast and stuff like that, even though I do love the chicken, but we'll find out. I kind of got lucky by booking this because I did it right on the My Disney Experience app. I was just looking for random reservations that have popped up, and that's how you do it, and it's select dates, so you might have to check the uh, site to actually figure out what dates it's available, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. Here is a little bit of information about the uh, dining package. It is $45 for adults and kids are $25. It comes with the beef bourguignon, roasted vegetables, herb mashed potatoes, Cabernet Demi Glaze, and then a Black Forest U log. And you get a fountain beverage with it or bottle of water and your reserved viewing area. So I'm kind of excited. I mean, it's not the traditional menu. It's something different than they usually have at the Plaza Inn. So it might be a little bit fancy. And here it is, the special dining package, and it looks actually really good. I, I'm a little shocked, and I like how they give you the lanyard, a Christmas fantasy. You got the U-log, the beef bourguignon, carrots, Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, the demi-glaze, and they put it in a little skillet. So they don't just put it on little plastic, you know, plates. This is high-class stuff here, folks, and I'm excited. We're going to dive in. Now, hopefully later on when I get to use the lanyard for the uh, reserved viewing like area, I'll let you guys know if this is worth it or not. I mean, $45 is a pretty pricey price tag, you know what I mean? Because it's not like a sit-down restaurant either, it's quick service. So uh, we'll wait to pass judgment once we go to the parade though. Uh, but you guys let me know, let me know what you think. I'm here with my friend Mike. He don't like Brussels sprouts though. Nope. Not your thing, huh? Not my thing. Everything else is good. You like things, it though. But, you know, Brussels sprouts is not my thing. The carrots? Oh, you said we're good. I'm gonna dive into the carrots now. Yeah, I'm all about those. There we go. Carrots. Oh, the carrots are fantastic, actually. Wow. Very good. I'm gonna get a little one-two bite. It's got some pearl onions, mushrooms on there. 
Get a little bit of everything in one bite with the mashed potatoes. You know how you gotta do it. Here we go. This is really good. I love it. The mashed potatoes are really good. The demi glaze on there, and even the beef itself. Perfect. It's cooked, it's it's just cooked to perfection. All right, here we go. It's time for the log. Time for the log. Gonna do a little scoop right there. I like the texture already. Look at that little jelly just jingling and hanging there. It's like a little, I don't even know what that is, but <laughs> I'm trying it. I, oh, it's gonna fall. I had to shake it off. Wow. That is good. I'm kind of sad I missed the cherry, so I had to go in for another bite. That's amazing. Wow, I'm like overly impressed. Well, honestly, I can say just by having the food and not going to the parade, I think this is worth it. <laughs> I really do. Now that we have our little pass, we're done with our lunch. This is where you would come and uh, go for your reserved seating. Now they do offer like a special area down by the train station, but I think because they're doing the holiday show down there, they moved it up here. But I'm excited because this is like a really good view. You're right next to the castle, and then the parade route comes right down this way. This is really, really nice, and nobody's here with me. Look, I got the whole reserved area for myself. I feel kind of fancy. I'm sure more people are going to actually show up though because the parade doesn't start till 3.30. I'm just a little bit early, but I guess I got the good seat. <laughs> the parade should be starting soon and I'm very excited that I get to see a Christmas parade during the daytime. I mean, it's going to be probably nicer at night because the lights will be on, but it's cool to see something during the day. I'm just now realizing I probably should have brought a coat with me. It is starting to get a little bit cold and chilly, and uh, I'm uh, just kind of rocking it in my Florida attire. And it's probably gonna get a little bit worse once it gets dark out. So I might be doing some shopping too. Happy holidays, everyone. It's time to share the magic of the merriest season of all, as Disneyland proudly presents a Christmas fantasy.
it so much I mean all the floats like had time where they just stopped and like the characters performed and I like that instead of just like a constant line like they had like sets I felt like and seeing the reindeer the toy soldiers Santa Mickey Minnie and the viewing area was fantastic now that's not the normal area from what I'm understanding normally they have it up near the train station but that was great and I would pay $45 for that any day now that the parade is over, I'm thinking about park hopping over to California Adventure because this is going to be my only day in the park, so I wouldn't mind seeing both of them all decked out for the holidays, and we have a little time before the fireworks. Over at DCA, they're actually celebrating Festival of the Holidays, which is basically the same thing that goes on at Epcot. Well, not basically, but it's called the same thing, and it's kind of cool because I just did that last time with my mom and sister. Look at how fancy that sign is. I kind of like it a lot. I gave up and got a hoodie because it got too cold out. But I'm happy with the hoodie I got. It says Disneyland on it. It's nice and warm. And uh, now I'm not going to be afraid for when it gets dark out. Even though it's kind of getting dark out already. Look at California Adventures tree. Oh, that is pretty. Not too many lights though. Like only a little bit of garland over here. But the tree itself looks nice. I like it. All around California Adventure, they have the Festival of the Holiday Boots. And it's kind of just like Epcot. This one's called Grandma's Recipes. That sounds good. And you can actually buy a lanyard with something I don't know why Disney doesn't do. But you can buy a lanyard and uh, it has the little things that you can punch out. This one has impossible meatloaf with mashed potatoes, a pumpkin layer cheesecake, and a hummingbird cocktail. My grandma never made any of that. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. I definitely want to ride the Incredicoaster while I'm here. And if we have time, we might be able to sneak back here and watch World of Color, because I think they have like a 10.30 showing. So that's like an hour in between the fires. The fireworks are at 9.30, World of Color is at 10.30, and it's a holiday version. So maybe, but we're definitely doing a credit coaster and Radiator Springs and Guardians of the Galaxy. We're gonna do it all. I'm pretty positive I can make a whole video series where I just walk around Disneyland pointing things out and saying, wow, look how beautiful that is. Look at that, isn't that amazing? 
I made my way back over to Incredicoaster because that's where I'm heading next. We're making so much time. I've done so much in one day. I'm really loving it. Like this is really incredible. And I'm so happy that I got to come out and try all the holiday festivities. Do they have fire pits over at the Lamplight Lounge? Wow, how cozy would that be? I wonder if I can get in. I love how sometimes you guys can catch me in like my squirrel mode where I'm just talking and all of a sudden something catches my eye and I'm just like, squirrel. Riding in Credicoaster at night is seriously like next level. And I really want to bring my mom and sister here. I asked them to come with me this trip and they said no, but I can't wait to ride this. I can't wait for Bonnie to ride this. Look at that. I hope you're watching this, Bonnie, because you got to come. I also think there's a lot more rides in Disneyland that my mom can actually ride, too. Inconceivable. I was gonna say incredible, but I felt like it was kind of a little punny. Anywho, I love that ride though. It's so much fun and going through those tunnels. Like I didn't think that, you know, when it was changed from California Screaming, like I didn't think I'd like it, but I love it. Like incredible all the way. Now that I got most of the rides done that I wanted to do over here, I think we're gonna make our way back to Disneyland to get ready for the fireworks. But if we have time, I'm coming back for the world of color. I'm coming back for you, baby. How many times have I said that in this video today? Because I love it. I hope that one day I'll be able to come back and try the festival of the holidays. Like, you know what I mean, do a proper DCA day. But this uh, trip is short-lived, only one day in uh, Anaheim. The rest I'll be uh, in Los Angeles. But I do have a very special video that I plan on doing in the next couple of days that I cannot wait to share with you. This is like a highlight of my life. I can't wait to see Disneyland with all of the Christmas lights turned on too. Like this little uh, entranceway here is all lit up. I like it. It's kind of pretty. I also grabbed myself another coffee. It's been a very long day, so I'm sorry if the video is long, but I just want to kind of capture the moment of the whole entire day for you guys. The funny thing is, is it being so cold out and me just walking around with coffees all day, honestly, it's been one of my best trips to Disneyland. Like, just one day, I don't feel tired. I just have this overall, like, just happiness to me. And it's only going to get better from here because I can't wait to see all the lights, like Main Street, USA, all lit up. And we're heading there right now. 
Look at this. That tree is so beautiful. So many lights on it. Like I'm impressed. And then Main Street USA, wow. This is, I, I'm so happy to be here right now. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. Oh my, is the castle lit up too with lights? I miss the dream lights at Cinderella Castle, but that is beautiful. Look at that. We have just about an hour and a half before the fireworks. So I'm just gonna, you know, walk around and maybe go ride some. We gotta go see It's a Small World, the holiday version. I totally forgot about that. It's a Small World is decorated so good for the holidays. And it's one of the best times to actually go ride the ride. So I think we're gonna go see if we can do that real quick. I mean, I'm not a big It's a Small World fan, but the holiday version, I'm a stan. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Look at how beautiful this is. Wow. And it plays Christmas music. Like, I'm excited to ride it to Small World right now. <laughs> Here we go. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. like a Christmas tree in here. I love that. Might be one of my new favorite like bride scents. Such a far superior uh, it's a small world than Walt Disney World like it's not even on another like, not even close not even on the same scale the music and everything so phenomenal there's one place I need to stop before fireworks though because it's a tradition to come get my bangle barbecue all-time favorite quick service food here and it's just so good I can't wait to get the asparagus and the vegetables and the chicken the best I have never seen these fireworks before, so I'm kind of very excited for this. Look at this goodness on a plate. We've got the vegetable skewer, we've got the safari, the pork belly, and the chicken. And it's just so good. <laughs> My favorite skewer though, is the safari one. The bacon wrapped asparagus. So good. Mission accomplished. Now, back to the fireworks. 
here is our view for the fireworks and I'm kind of excited because I've never really got to experience the fireworks sitting down We've got a nice little bench right here and I'm I don't know, I'm not even sure what to expect And with that, I think we are done here today. I wasn't able to make it to World of Color because I got tangled up in the crowds there, but how about that fireworks show? That was a lot of fun. I mean, I really did enjoy it a lot. I enjoyed my whole entire day today. It's been epic, and I'm so happy that I get to share it with you guys. I'm gonna be making a couple more videos. I know we're gonna be covering Los Angeles Comic Con, which is gonna be a lot of fun, but I have a couple of other really awesome surprises. A lot of Walt Disney themed things 
that we're gonna be doing near Hollywood and Burbank and I can't wait to share those with you guys either on Instagram or actually um, a whole video wise so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye